There are many questions right now as to how the Eurozone's new bailout mechanism, the revised EFSF, will be implemented moving forward, and more broadly, how the European countries plan on addressing the financial crisis that's gripping the Eurozone. But before those questions can even be addressed, there is one hurdle to passing the revised EFSF, and that hurdle is Slovakia. Slovakia is the only remaining member of the 17-member Eurozone that has yet to ratify the new EFSF, but this last hurdle has proven the trickiest to clear. While Slovak Prime Minister Iveta Radikova is personally in favor of the new EFSF, it has proven impossible for her to get all of the members of her coalition to be on board as well. Namely, Radikova's junior coalition partner, the SAS party, which holds 22 seats out of the 79-seat coalition, has been opposed to voting for strengthening the new EFSF. This has left Radikova without the votes necessary to get a majority in order to pass the EFSF. And because of this, Slovakia was unable to pass the ratification of the EFSF in the parliament's hearing on the issue on October 11th. As a result, the Radikova government, which tied the vote for the EFSF with a confidence measure over the government, collapsed. Still, this does not spell doom for the revised EFSF. Slovakia is likely to ratify the revised EFSF in a second vote that will take place before the end of the week, this time with the help of the biggest opposition party, Smer. Most of the Smer party, which is led by former Slovak Prime Minister Robert Fico and has 62 seats in the parliament, abstained from the vote the first time around. And its participation in the second round of voting would be more than enough to make up for the loss of the SAS vote. Smer has said all along that it would support the ratification of the revised EFSF, but only on the condition that there would be early elections called or re a reshuffle of the Slovak government, something that has actually happened now that the Radikova government has fallen. What this means is that most of the Slovak government is committed to the passage of the revised EFSF, but it ultimately took a collapse of the ruling coalition in order to facilitate getting the deal done. Now, Slovakia's problems raise the question of whether other Eurozone member states could see political turmoil related to the ongoing financial crisis. Indeed, European leaders have already been discussing the next round of potential changes to the EFSF. In the meantime, there are several important elections coming up in Eurozone member states in the next six months or so, including parliamentary elections in Spain and presidential elections in Finland and France. And this does not even factor the possibility of snap elections or governments falling in confidence votes outside of the election cycle as happened with Slovakia. That means that with the Eurozone's growing financial and economic challenges, this can also be accompanied by growing political shakeups in Europe as well.